It was a small group that gathered for a big message. Light a flame uh, and, and together we can all try to banish the darkness. It was an interfaith vigil in Palo Alto to condemn the October 7th Hamas attacks in Israel. Standing for justice, praying for peace, says Pastor Jack Cabanas. Whether their neighbors are Israeli, have connections with Israel, you know, are with Palestine, uh, the, the most important thing is to recognize uh, that human grief, that need, uh, and just the deep hope for, uh, for justice and for eventual peace. Suki Chahal is a leader in the Sikh community. Terrorism of any form, of any, from anybody, is bad. It needs to be condemned. And uh, this is the time that means so we have to stand together. Rabbi David Booth says unity is important in a time like this, especially with some recent attacks on Muslims and Jews. It's very frightening. I mean, haters and anti-Semites, people who hate Muslims, are using this as an excuse to do terrible things. We've been feeling in the Jewish community very insecure since this happened. People have been using this as an excuse to spew anti-Semitic hate, and it's very, very frightening for our community. So Gaza is effectively... Earlier in the day, was standing room only in Berkeley. The group Speak Out Now hosted a conversation with Stanford Middle East professor emeritus Joe Bainan. He spoke via Zoom. The discussion focused on the unfolding humanitarian crisis in Gaza. And how could we be uh, standing here and there are over a million people ordered to march because there are no roads that go to the south into an area where there are, there's no fuel, no food, no uh, water, and we're supposed to think that this is tolerable? It's not. More Bay Area events are planned for next we week. Ansar Hassan, ABC 7 News. Peace and comfort.